Hi everyone, my name is CJ and welcome to another episode of CJ Here Talks in the Car. I'm happy you're here. Now let's get started with the conversation. Now for today's topic, we are going to be talking about making wash day easier. I decided to have this conversation just uh, piggybacking on my own wash day this past weekend and how it was necessary for me to have incorporated like steps to get my wash day done because I had to push it ahead based on family um, circumstances I had to be you know more involved with my kids and so even though I had planned to wash my hair that didn't happen but the great thing about the whole process is because I was doing things in stages I was able to still get my hair washed um, because I had most of the things already ready to go so I wanted to talk about that and just share um, those steps that I did and maybe that will help you too as you are on your own natural hair care journey I always say that I share tips and I give you nuggets you know things that have worked for me the best thing for all of us is whatever information we get we take it and we make it our own so I'm hoping that the information I share you'll be able to take it use it and transform it make it your own so that it is applicable to you and it's meaningful to you and unique to you all right so let's get started with the conversation okay so i like acronyms so for this conversation i am going to use three acronyms that will make your wash day much easier and the first one is going to be called ppf and it's plan prepare and follow through Okay, so let's talk about the first one, planning. Now, I think this is so important because if you're able to plan your wash days, I just think it just helps the process from the beginning. Uh, A great way, and I've talked about this in a previous episode, is literally putting your wash day or your hair care routine on a calendar. Have your hair care calendar and on that calendar everything pertaining to the management of your hair or taking care of your hair your hair care journey you're going to have it on that calendar and so what that does it keeps you abreast first of all like it keeps you aware of what's happening what's to come what you need to do it's just a great way to kind of be in check with yourself and your hair and I just think it's just an awesome option. So having that calendar, you're going to start putting down the things that matter to you, whether it's your your days for moisture or uh, whether you're going to be washing and if you're going to wash, are you going to be prepping, you know, everything you need on your calendar, you kind of put it. So I'm going to go through starting with the planning and then how, and I'm going to talk about how having that calendar kind of helps me to plan how to prepare and then how to follow through. Now, for me, the follow through is always going to be whenever my wash day is. So in the planning, planning is, that's your calendar. So have your hair care calendar. And you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to really work on one. I have one, um, but I'm going to work on one. And um, hopefully in the next couple episodes, I'll be able to say, yes, it's completed and I can share it. But um, in planning and having that calendar, so take a calendar and start writing down your hair care routine and your what, what you're going to do when. So because we're focusing on wash day, let's focus on just wash day for your calendar. So put all your wash days down. So say you wash your hair, like for me, I wash my hair every three to four weeks. And that's my, my choice. Um, but I that's where I go with. So I either go with three weeks or four weeks, that, that's when I wash my hair. 
So on my calendar, every three to four weeks, that's when there's a wash day, okay? All right, so that's my plan. Every three to four weeks, I have a wash day, okay? So then it's the, the prep time. What do I need for my wash day, all right? Other than the regular tools, so you know you have your hair tools, which is your clips, you're going to have your um, shampoo conditioner, so you kind of make your check, do I have enough conditioner, do I have enough shampoo? Um, for me, I use my tea, so um, I have to make my tea, which is relatively easy, and I normally do um, rice water, so I have to make rice water. And I also normally do a DIY deep conditioner. So for me, I have three things that I have to make. That's in my prep. Okay, so because what I make are pretty simple, um, only, only the deep conditioner is a little bit more. I plan when I'm going to make it. So like for the deep conditioner, I probably will make it a week before. And normally the amount that I make, I uh, it will last me for four, three to four other wash days. So I normally just make a batch, a good batch, and then I would freeze it. And then whenever it's time for my wash day, I'll just take it out um, and I would defrost and have it ready for my, my wash day. Pretty simple, okay? So with regards to the rice water and the tea, those I can do um, two days before or a day before, the night before. I kind of like when my tea or my rice water goes a little bit longer. So I will probably do it maybe a few days before, so that before wash day. So say for example, if I'm gonna be washing on that Saturday, maybe from the Tuesday or the Wednesday, I will prepare the tea and I will prepare um, my rice water. Um, I always use some sort of um, herb to kind of take away the, the I would say, the, the scent or the smell. Cause rice water can get really potent. <laughs> so I always use probably like some lavender leaves or um, I have hibiscus just to change and the changing the smell and um, and all of these are great assets to your hair in addition to the rice water so I normally add that as I'm doing it okay so once I have I've been able to plan my day and I'm also able to plan the tools that I have as well as the ingredients that I need for my wash day then it just comes down to actually following through so this is why this is what's going to make your wash day easier if it's if you wait until the actual day to make your thing and prep your stuff it's gonna take a long time because you have to you're gonna basically have to you know give way to a longer period to prep before actually getting to wash your hair. So having it planned before and kind of just preparing everything that you need, trust me, it goes a long, long way. And I was able to see that really play out this past weekend for me washing. Because I had already had everything prepared, I was literally able to just take out, I took out the deep conditioner, I, I, Put it in some hot water and i got it it got it melted and yeah i took out the tea everything was already prepared and i just took them to them to the, to the the to get my to the bathroom and i got my hair washed and yeah it was really a um an easier process for sure because wash day can be wash day can be a process but if we're able to really be specific and you know be strategic about how we get things done it'll be a lot easier so I just really wanted to share that um, I know for the process if we're gonna wash our hair in terms of detangling and uh, you know 
working our hair through, but I always talk about simplicity and finding what your hair likes. If you do find what your hair likes, it makes the process easier. Hair is more responsive. It responds better, responsive, <laughs> but it responds so much better if, if it likes the products that you're using. So just be observant of that. But I just wanted to quickly share that with you. And yeah, give it a go. As I said, plan. Just plan it out. Write some little notes. Okay, wash day is coming up. What do I need? Because when you have it on your calendar, you can be, you can put in reminders on your phone based on your calendar to say, okay, my wash day is coming up. I need this, I need that, I don't have that. Then you can plan, okay, when I go to the store, I need to pick up that, I need to have that. Oh, it, it's a great way to just be really prepared for your wash day. So it's not a surprise to you and it doesn't take longer than it should, okay? Yeah, so, yeah, and always with the, with the prepping, just plan your preps as well, based on the time you're gonna have uh, your wash day, do your preps prior to that. And yeah, so that on the wash day, it's just an easy process. You have everything you need, and it's just for you to get started. All right? I hope this helps. And yeah, and I would just want to say, you know, thanks again for listening. I appreciate you taking the time to, you know, share in this conversation. I would love for you to like, comment, subscri subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. Let's have a conversation. I'd love to hear from you. Do you plan your wash days? How do you make your wash days easier? I'd love to hear your side too. And yeah, let's all talk and share and have a great conversation. Thanks again for listening. Have a wonderful day now.